Good morning, everyone. Wayne here. Beautiful morning. First morning that's felt like fall all year here in southern Missouri. We have a fun unboxing for you guys today. Battle for Germany, Destruction of the Reich, December 1944, May 1945, Deluxe Edition from Decision Games. So this is uh, it's an original design by Jim Dunnigan, new edition developed by Donald B. Johnson. So this is one I've been waiting for for a while. I have no experience with the original. Um, too new to war games for that. I think the original was put out before I was born anyway. Um, but I've been waiting for this one because I think it looks really interesting. This is the game where not only is it, uh, I think, considered a classic, but it is one where one player plays um, the allies on the west and then the Germans on the eastern front and then the other player plays... The Russians on the Eastern Front, and then the Germans on the Western Front. Hopefully I got that right. Hopefully that makes sense. So, it is not a traditional solitaire-only game um, that I mostly cover, but every now and then I do branch out into just traditional Hex Encounter, play both sides style, but I think with the way it's set up, I think it'll be a lot of fun solitaire, a lot of fun solo. So, all right. It's got this new deluxe edition just came, nice and heavy, from Decision Games. This will have a mounted map, so I'm super excited. The original... Um, I, I don't know. I don't have the original. Ever played it? Okay, nineteen seventy-five. Yep, <laughs> way before I was born. Um, redesigned ninety-four edition. Well, that's after I was born, at least. Um, so it has the original counters, two playable counter sets. So it has the original counters and then redesigned ones um, with supply markers. So supply rules. I know the original is a pretty simple game. This this one's been expanded a bit. I think just a bit on the rules. Uh, I could be wrong. And then obviously the map was a much smaller map, and now it's a full-size map, although as you can see the play area, there's going to be charts and stuff, um, So, which we'll take a look at that. So let's see. Um, yep, Battle for Germany focuses on the race to you know, finish off Germany. One player commands the Western Allies, the other the Soviets. Each commands the German units facing their opponent. Uh, move fight sequence interle interleaved between the Eastern and Western fronts. All right. So features a larger mounted map, now extends to the Corland Peninsula, the counters are larger and thicker, both 1975 and 1994, plus new supply counters. The rules booklet is full color. Three original scenarios are now included in play. These are set for counters and new optional rules add supply and alternate end games for the main scenario. <gasps> Tons of stuff, right? Let's open her up and take a look at it. Super excited. Like I said, I will definitely be covering this one on the channel. Um, again, it's not a solitaire only, but that's okay. You know what? Sometimes you got to branch out. You got to experience some different games, you know, play some Hex Encounter against yourself. It's sometimes that can be a lot of fun. They're a little harder to film, but I mean, I'm going to do my best to try to show some, some of the game off uh, later on. Okay. So, all right. Like the cover. All right. All right. You get a D6, some baggies. Good start. Good start. Ooh, nice. Uh, Rules of play, or instructions, I should say. Oh, very nice. Looks good. Lots of color. Seems to play. Ooh, examples, pictures, resolving combat, how replacements work. Beautiful. Looks good. There is, there are no rules in this game. This game is, what is this, five rules? Five pages rules, I should say. And the rest, scenarios, scenarios, historical background. Ooh, cool, historical background down here too, so. Oh, nice, I like that, they include that so you can read through. Very nice. 1984 setup chart. So, wow. Uh, so it says 60, it's 16 pages here, but this literally includes like the setup chart, these historical, um, historical background, which is half of it. Um, the optional rules here up on page eight. So, sorry, I'm not trying to flip through too fast. I'm just trying to see the actual rules looks like. And then the historical setup is half of page six. So <laughs> as you get to page six, that's where the main rules end. That's fantastic. I love simpler games. I have no problems with that. Um, I do not play the 40 rule, 40 page rule book games. I no interest in it. There's too many good games out there to spend that much time on learning one game and playing one game. So very nice. But as you can see, it was color. There's examples in there. We're not going to go over it a ton here because like I said, I'll probably end up covering it in some videos. So. Hopefully you guys want to see that. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so we have dun, dun, dun. 
Alright, so we have our, okay, so the 1975 setup's on here. So the other, the 94 setup was on the back of the rule book. Um, this one's the 75 setup. Um, we'll play raid, combat results table, so CRT, and then get those train effects. This one is not in color. Um, not in color, just black and white. All right. Let's see our counters here, obviously. Let me see what else is in here before we start digging into the counters. And then, oh, the nice big, nice big mounted map. All right, let's look at the, let's look at the counters here first. And then I'll spread out the map and we'll look at that. All right, so they are, um, yep, they're larger. They're the, uh, geez, I don't know what that would be, five eighths or nine sixteenths. Basically, they're, they're bigger than a half inch, so nice and big counters. Metal for Germany Deluxe, like, I like it. Looks good, very clear, very easy to read. Looks good. They're nice and thick. These are these are decently thick. I mean, these are not, clearly they're not going to be the individually punched, you know, huge, super thick counters from, like, DVG or Compass Games Deluxe, but this is an improvement over the standard decision games counters, which I'd call average thickness, maybe a little less than average nowadays, now that you're seeing more, you know, thick counters coming out. Um... But these are definitely nice and thick. They look good. Uh, pun uh, punch super easy. He's going to come out. There we go. Yep, nice and easy. Yeah, they are, they are really thick. Good job, Decision Games. I'm glad they did that. That's nice. Because even the last game that I covered, the deluxe version of the D-Day game, um, with amount of map, very nice. Except it was, the counters are not very thick. They're kind of like, I think they're the leftover counters from what was a folio. These are definitely new and Good counters so anyway everything looks good i mean standard nato symbology i mean you can see the you know west germany commonwealth counters up here sorry i mean off off the camera soviet union uh, germany east germany so you get you know you get the different colors to help uh, differentiate between you know germany east germany um usa mania let's see what we got here soviet union so very nice double-sided Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. So, no. All right. So, I mean, they're double-sided in the sense that there's writing on the back, but it's just the setup. Just the years. Oh, okay. I see. East Germany. All right. So, on the back here, it'll say, you know, 75, 94. Okay. I'll have to dig in a little bit more in the rules. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I mean, other than, obviously, I would assume the ones that say 75 are only for the 75 game. Then 94 would be maybe added in. So, additional counters, maybe. So, maybe the... 94 game is a little bit more complex or has it features a little more counters. I don't know. Or those are used instead. Looks like they may be used instead because 75 over here, the 94, 94, 94. I bet they're just used instead. So anyway, let's look at the map. I'm going to spend forever on those counters. Look good though. Nice and thick. Good job. Decision games. All right. This big mountain map. Bust this bad boy. I do like when it comes in the, um, the plastic here, the Ziploc. just feel like Oh, I feel like it's going to protect it a little bit more. Um, if I can get out of there. Maybe, maybe it will. I struggle to remove this. Riveting. Riveting YouTube video, everyone. Enjoy. All right. Oh, very nice. Um, it's the bound, that bound, you know, the, I always forget what the term is, guys. Someone out there knows, but it's, uh, when it's like this, where it's the edged bound um, type of mounted map, that's like the true mounted map style. Very nice. Whoa! Switch this bad boy out. Oh, everybody, watch out! Watch the camera. Watch the camera. All right. Very nice. I think I got it. I don't have it upside down. Oh, it looks good. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, beautiful. Okay, so I know it's the camera. I'll uh probably take it off the mount there so you guys can see it. Um, the map out here. A little bit of a fold on the fold spots um the one from d-day i was able i think that was the one i was able to lay flat super easy so this one looks maybe a little stiffer laying flat but no it's already getting better so all right um let's go ahead i'm gonna take the uh camera off the mount here Oop. so you guys can Ooh. we're free we're free all right so this is the Battle for Germany. Map graphics by Joe Eust. Good job. Looks very good. Very nice. I really like the 
green, the foliage, or foliage, I don't even call it mountains, I'm sure that's mountains, not foliage, um, rough, rough terrain, looks like, so, um, yeah, very nice, here we go down here, so I'm just kind of looking at everybody, print effects chart, drain key, then our hexes, going be a good size, um, that one on our go. All right, so they're going to fit in the hex nicely. Perfect. You have sideways a little bit. You have the turn chart. No big deal. Um, for the solo player, they'll work, work just fine. There's the like a CRT and stuff there, but we have our own. So say as a solo player, if I'm sitting this way, so I'm going to have my own CRT. Train effects chart. Remember, there's a play rate as well. Let's see if I can back the camera up a little bit so you guys can see the whole map. Oh, backing up, backing up. All right, so there's a full size, yep, uh, 2234 map. But it looks very nice. I think this looks great. I cannot wait to get this one to the table. So um, I'll end it here. But I uh, hope you guys like this look at Battle for Germany Deluxe Edition from Decision Games. Um, let's dig into this one. How about it? All right, comment below. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this game. If you want to see more of it, I plan to. I've said that a couple times, and most of the time I um, live up to it, but sometimes there's just life gets busy or there's just, I get a bunch of new games and I got to dig into those, but uh, I plan to dig into this one. So let me know what you guys think below. Um, if you're one of the 65% who <laughs> my viewers who are not subscribed, please subscribe. It's free for you, but it helps me out. All right, later, guys.